Thank you. Right. We're back, and we're going to do some jokes. You like jokes? Yeah, sure. All right. We're just going to do them here. This Easter Sunday, here, you want to read this one time? Yeah. This seems like more of a your kind of joke. You can lure it in the camera if you want, whatever you want to do. This Easter Sunday, Snoop Dogg gets to say, Christ is resisten. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it, Jeff? Uh, sure. This is going to the camera. Uh, we wear new clothes on Easter to represent Christ's triumphant appearance to the stunned apostles in his sharp two-button blazer by Hugo Boss. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, the guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. <laughs> President Obama continues to shamelessly wage class warfare. Today he announced a steep new tax on shiny top hats. Oh, you read that one. No, go. It's looking at the camera, man. Some folks say, uh, <laughs> some folks say, what this country needs is a good five cent cigar. I'm guessing they're opposing uh, Obamacare. <laughs> Give me the shitty fucking shit. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Here's butcher one. them anyway, you might as well. I don't know if this counts as an NCAA Cinderella story, but one of the Marquette players said he had help making his uniform from a bunch of singing mice and birds. <laughs> Uh, I think I think this is perfect for Tom Green. Tom Green just reading ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I read a story. A 17-year-old kid who stole a plane crashed it and survived. Why don't we make the whole plane out of that kid? <laughs> <laughs> Seems logical, that right? Makes sense, yeah. right? There you go. Adam Egan. <laughs> Warning to the Easter Bunny, don't put all your eggs in one basket, fella. <laughs> you handpick these. I they, do feel like I'm getting the good ones here. So. They say the world's a smaller place than it used to be, but I think that's an optical illusion based on me becoming a big fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> here's one, here's one that's good for you. Growing up, <laughs> I never would have believed that one day I'd need a computer just to masturbate. <laughs> it is strange it is when you think about it. Unbelievable. Right? Yeah, Remember, you used to need nothing like yeah. that. Like Sears a, catalog. Sears catalog, <laughs> yeah. maybe. National Geographic. Exactly. A van in the woods. Yeah. And sometimes you go, I, why am I looking at the bra section of Sears catalog? I'm not in the market for a bra. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Here you go. Try a joke. I'm sure my parents wondered why those were always piled up in my room, the brassiere yes. section. <laughs> you know, rolled up into balls under the bed. Um, soggy balls of paper. <laughs> soggy balls of new, newsprint. Hey, speaking of balls, uh, John, John Hamm has a big dick. <laughs> oh, no, wait. John Hamm has a big dick. I could have told you that, but I don't suck and tell. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. A Swedish Bond girl, Britt Eklund, told Piers Morgan this week that she was seduced by Warren Beatty after the legendary Lothario took her to an X-rated movie for their first date. This is what I have to say about that. Hey, Warren, stop stealing my moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite this week. Unbelievable. Oh, I think you'll like this one. I'm giving Tom the best ones. That is your move, by the way. Thank you. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> I was ahead of his time. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, it's man. Fun doing jokes. <laughs> come on, it's fun doing jokes. Yeah. It's the delivery. Just, yeah. You're getting better. Uh, Octomom is facing jail time for committing welfare fraud. Who didn't see that one coming? I mean, seriously, a single mother of eight. Is that even a joke? <laughs> They're your joke, fucker. 
I am not a big fan of video games where you cannot kill a prostitute. I like the ones where... Oh, like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the hook for that game. That's really what people it was. got really was. excited about. Yeah. Throw the girl no over the Inevitably, that. somebody would always say, you know, the great thing is you can drive down this alley and you can <laughs> kill a prostitute. That was the thing people talked about most of that game. That's why right? that game took off. I agree. Isn't that strange? Yeah. What a We world. are a messed up Oh, this society. is perfect for you. <laughs> I don't know if my mom would let. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what it means. You're just thinking of Cana the Canadian translation of. What is the Canadian of translation that, of, the, of, the, of, of that? That's not a mother. No, what's your old lady in that, Canada? Your, your old lady? No, in America, your old lady is like your. Well, I your definitely girlfriend. can't read it now. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you can read it. <laughs> uh, the thing I miss most about the '70s is rolling a number and giving my old lady some head. You fucking hate out your mother? No, 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 no my old lady. <laughs> Shit, I guess it does kind of. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's why I passed the card to you. <laughs> oh, <for> fuck. <laughs> Celebrating <laughs> April 1st birthdays. This is a sort of news thing. Russian pianist Sergei Rachmaninoff, who was born on this day in 1872. Yeah, I know that dude. Rapper Method Man is 41. Debbie Reynolds turns 80 today. Rachel Maddow is 39, and former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt would have been 95 today. April Fools, former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt is alive and well. <laughs> we gotta do an April Fools, right? <laughs> oh my God, Tom. <laughs> what about this one, Tom? I love Lou Gehrig. But I'm not going to stand up in front of a million people and brag that I'm the luckiest man in the world because some doctors named a disease after me. Confidence is one thing, but arrogance is the worst disease of them all. I agree with that. I also agree with that. It's funny and true. <laughs> um, one day in the hopefully not too distant future, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is going to hear a loud popping sound. The sound of his head coming out of his own ass. A Miami, Florida pimp is in custody after forcing a 13-year-old prostitute to have his name tattooed on her eyelids when she threatened to run away from him. Roman Thomas III faces charges of human trafficking, false imprisonment, lewd and lascivious exhibition, and delivery of a controlled substance to a child. You know, I know the scriptures say, judge not lest ye be judged, but you know, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This Roman Thomas III guy, this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun doing jokes. Yeah. <laughs> For you. <laughs> I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. There you go. Well, let's um, do it. Let's just do it funny. This one's like two, pa two pages long and cut off at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Do your best. Give it your it's, best. It's not even complete. Give it your All best right. shot, man. Troubled starlet Lindsay Lohan had a cameo on Anger Management last week and uh, managed to shock the cast and crew by showing up on time and even early. Later in the week, the Mean Girls actress was looking decidedly chipper as she posed on the red carpet at a clothing store launch in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Perhaps Lindsay is getting a jump start on her upcoming mandatory 90-day rehab, or maybe bartenders are just asking her to land someplace else knowing the way liquor... Cuts off. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. It cuts off, really? <laughs> I'm trying to help him out. I forgot how the end went. Hey! <laughs> the cut off. Hey. Hey's the most important part, of usually. Tell the guy to put it That's on the fucking to... card. <laughs> hey, news media, leave Kim Kardashian alone, will you? She's pregnant, of course she's gonna, she's gonna gain weight. And if anyone knows about rapid gain, weight gain, it's me. You know, I went to see the doctor about it, and he told me to open my mouth and say, oink! <laughs> I thought that was a little, a little out of line, Tom. 